Welcome to our video, Manage Amazon Brand Registry Roles. When a seller wants to enroll their brand with Amazon, they start by creating an Amazon Brand Registry account if they don't already have one. They should create that account with the same credentials they use to sign in to Seller Central. That ensures they'll have full access for the brand when they sign in to either portal. After creating a brand registry account, a seller can then enroll their brand. The enrollment process simultaneously registers the brand with Amazon and affiliates it with the seller's brand registry account. After a brand's enrollment is approved, the seller's brand registry account has access to each tool and permission setting in brand registry. If they want help protecting or managing their brand, they can also affiliate additional brand registry user accounts, assigning one or more roles to define access. Let's review the process for affiliating an additional brand registry account and assigning roles. Before we begin, it's important to note that this process is distinct from processes used to extend listing privileges and selling benefit eligibility to additional Seller Central accounts. For more information about these other processes, see our Seller University video, Manage Selling Benefits for Your Brand. There are three roles available to brand registry accounts, rights owner, administrator, and registered agent. When a brand is first enrolled, the account of the seller who enrolled it is automatically assigned the first two roles, rights owner and administrator. The rights owner role designates the seller who enrolled the brand as the owner of its trademark. They submitted verification of that trademark during the enrollment process. The rights owner role is also what gives the seller's account access to each tool on Amazon brand registry. The administrator role is what gives the seller access to user permission settings on Amazon brand registry, which they can use to affiliate other brand registry user accounts and assign roles. One or both these roles can be assigned to additional brand registry accounts as they're affiliated with the brand. Doing so extends the same access to brand registry tools and permission settings enjoyed by the seller who enrolled the brand on a per-role basis. For that reason, these roles should only be assigned to employee accounts or other accounts internal to the brand. Finally, the third Amazon brand registry role is registered agent. This role is always assigned manually by a brand administrator and it can't be assigned to a brand registry user account that's also assigned the rights owner role. That's because it's designed for third parties external to a brand. Brand registry accounts that have been assigned the registered agent role have access to the report of violation form so they can report suspected intellectual property infringement. That includes reports of counterfeit products against a brand's active, registered trademark, as well as other types of IP violations. Registered agents can also use other brand registry tools with access similar to that of a rights owner. Now that we're familiar with each role, let's review the process for assigning them. To affiliate an additional brand registry account with a brand and assign roles, an administrator for the brand follows a few simple steps. First, sign in to your brand registry account. Click Settings, then User Permissions. You'll see a list of user accounts already affiliated with the brand, including the seller who enrolled the brand. Click the Invite a user to your brand button, then enter the email associated with the brand registry account you want to affiliate. Make sure the email you enter is associated with an active brand registry account. If you'd like to affiliate someone who doesn't yet have a brand registry account, first ask them to create one. Next, enter the name of the user you're inviting to your brand and select their preferred language, the specific brand you want to affiliate their account with, and the marketplace they'll use to sign in. Note that selecting a marketplace for sign-in doesn't limit the user's access to that marketplace. They'll have access for the brand in each country-based store where it's registered. The sign-in marketplace simply identifies which store they use to access their brand registry account. After selecting the appropriate sign-in marketplace, check the boxes next to the roles you want to assign to the user. 
Finally, click the Send Invitation button. The user will receive an email they can use to accept. If a brand registry account has reached out proactively to request affiliation and role assignments for a brand, you can also accept or reject that request on the Requests tab. After a brand registry account has been affiliated with a brand, an administrator for the brand can update the roles assigned to it. Click the Manage button next to the account. Then add or remove roles on the next page by checking or unchecking boxes in the row for the brand. You can also affiliate the account with an additional brand by checking boxes in a new row or remove them from the brand by unchecking all boxes in a row. This concludes our video on managing Amazon brand registry roles. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.